This is the fifth uh, item we did on video one, a triangle in a three-on-two situation. Whenever we have a three-on-two situation like we have here, it's very important that the middleman stops at the free throw line area, in this area in here. For our better shooters, we'll step out at the three-point line and stop there because if they're not guarding us, we'll take that shot. But what we're doing here is we're forming a triangle with our offensive guys. And why do we do that? Because if we do that, two defenders cannot possibly guard three. If this guy has the ball, he defends here, he's got to make a choice of who he's going to defend. If he goes over here, the pass is made there. He recovers back, he slides down, the pass can be made. They cannot guard, it's impossible for two guys to guard three in a triangle situation. If this guy forgets to stop at the free throw line area, and he sinks down here, now we have a defender here and a defender there, and we have two guys stopping three. So it's important again to form that triangle, be out in this area here, and forming a triangle so two guys cannot stop three. Alright, you form a triangle. Usually you form a triangle because if I form a triangle here, two people can't defend three. So I pass the ball around, you guys try to steal it. That's the problem. Doesn't allow you to fire two people. Can't do it. So that's why we stop. 